So after the long wait, we finally received the Kawaki DLC in Shinobi Sharkers, and all I have to say is attackers are officially broken. Snitching on my facts. Back it up, back it up. Two, two, three, gonna make a nigga back it up. Twenty one, trying to strip a nigga, gotta change my outfit. Nigga ain't black enough. Boulder Crest Road, Glenwood Road, nigga. So as of right now, you can only use Kawaki as a VR master. You cannot use his moves on your custom character just yet because it's going to be releasing tomorrow. But you could use him in the Hero Festival and test all of the ninjutsus out. So now moving on to Kawaki's rewards that you get with the DLC. So at rank number one, which is the first star, you unlock him as a VR master. You guys already know this. Then after we moving on. To number two, we get Karma Lynchpin Strange Taste, which is the first ninjutsu. Next, we get a scientific ninja tool car place, and we get emergency exit, which I'm guessing is the substitution. Moving on from that, we got Imperial Wrath, which is another ninjutsu, and we get Karma Lynchpin Ritual Destruction, which is the ultimate. Moving on from that, we get Shinobi Boo Seals. Then next, we get Kawaki's Piercings. After that, we get the Scientific Ninja Tool Skill Fragment. Then after, we get another Shinobi Boost Seal, which no one wants. Moving on from that, for the final thing you get, and that is Kawaki's Honorable Title and all of Kawaki's Face Paint. Now, let's talk about the Scientific Ninja Tools that you get. So with the first Scientific Ninja Tool, which is Car Pace, it is a knuckle knife shaped Scientific Ninja Tool that is molded after those used by Kawaki. This ninja tool conforms to users as its fists as if they were an extension to their body hitting their opponents with taijutsu unlike any other. So literally I'm just gonna guess that this is just another attacker weapon which you can use to easily combo up people. Simple as that. Moving on to the second ninja tool that you get in this DLC and that is a scientific ninja tool scale fragment. A throwing scientific ninja tool molded after those used by Kawaki, larger and heavier than a kunai, it naturally inflicts more damage but has a shorter range and no additional effects. So literally this is a kunai technically is a throwable weapon that you can use and it doesn't go as far as a kunai but it does way more damage. So now I'm going to move on to the ninjutsus that you get with this DLC. So first up we got Karma Lynchpin Strange Taste. So on hold, the nearby enemies are invincible to ninjutsus and ninja tools. Uh, this resets enemies ninja cooldown and drains their secret technique gauge. If those are disabled, the user's ninjutsu cooldown is reduced except for strange taste, gauge plus damage increased. So with this ninjutsu, it's literally where you absorb people's ninjutsus and I guess while you're doing this, all of your allies will have invincibility for a short period of time when using this move. It's pretty cool. For the second ninjutsu that we get with this DLC, it is called Imperial Wrath. This ninjutsu transforms the user's right arm into a shield for a tackle attack that nullifies all attacks except for secret technique. And it resets the target substitution sock on contact. Users can act freely and follow up after tackling. So literally this jutsu is absolutely broken. You're literally about to charge at somebody, literally blocking all the ninjutsus, well not secret techniques like they said, and on contact you're literally going to take this substitution stock away. So in a way this is kind of like Hazan Strike if you really think about it. Moving on to the substitution which is emergency exit. This substitution literally allows you to heal yourself when you substitute. That is absolutely crazy. Imagine having this with Sichui's ultimate which is a Kota Masakami and a Sharingan. Gun. You're going to be getting infinite health like crazy. And finally we got the ultimate which is Karma Lynchpin Ritual Destruction. The user rushes an enemy with a strike with a single fist while using this a ninja tool to pierce an enemy. These attacks are followed by Karma Lynchpin that explodes and inflicts massive amount of damage over a wide area. So this ultimate is literally what Kawaki used against Garo. I think I see how you say his name. I have no idea. But yeah, that's literally what Kawaki used against Garo. And it's literally where you just punch your opponent in the chest. And then a few seconds after, they're literally about to explode. So you know this is going to be instant KO. So the main question of this video is should you buy this DLC and all I have to say is 
please buy this DLC. If you're an attacker, you, I'm telling you, these are going to be the new meta moves. How to use it for defense or an offense. They're going to be very valuable in multiple game modes. If I have to rate this DLC from 1 to 10, this is me not being biased because I'm an attacker main. I'm going to give it an 8. No, no, no. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. This DLC is pretty good. And like I said before, I highly recommend everyone to try and get it. And if you can't get it, well, that sucks to be you. Anyways, guys, all jokes aside, this DLC is pretty good. But that is the end of the video. So I hope you guys all enjoyed. Please hit the like button and hit the subscribe button because we're on the road to 700 subscribers. Anyways, guys, that is it. So without further ado, outro, please. Okay. Bye.